On February 19, 1999, 15-year-old Sonia Wallace left her Rockdale home to mail a letter. The post office was just four blocks away, and her family didn't expect her to take too long, but she never came home. I asked her mother, Linda Gonzalez, who Sonia was mailing a letter to. Do we know who the letter was to? No, but she had a lot of friends that were writing to her from where we used to live in Georgetown, so I don't know, I assumed it was one of them. The next day, her family reported her missing. Linda Gonzalez, Sonia's mother, says she regrets not being home that day. I was at work, and I sh it was supposed to be off. And I regret that, you know, going in. I do, I regret it. Little did she know that her daughter would be found dead almost a month later. Uh, on March 14th of 1999, uh, her body was found on Williamson County Road 490, mm -hmm. uh, which is down at the southern, southern tip of our county, down close to Elgin. Sonia was found severely decomposed and the cause of death was ruled a homicide. So this is County Road 490. Yes, this is County Road 490. It runs uh, east and west from FM 619. Mm -hmm. Her body was found west of FM 619 on the south side of County Road 490. So over in this So area. right in this, in this little shady area here. Okay. There's a creek that runs through there uh, that's kind of surrounded by trees the creek itself is and her her body was just dumped there over the bridge detectives believe sonia's vast group of friends know a thing or two about what happened to her she hung out with a wide variety of people like you said she uh, was very friendly uh, everyone liked her as far as we can tell uh, and she had friends i think everywhere pretty much yeah. i mean anywhere she went i think uh, when she met you uh, you instantly became her friend Thankfully, police were able to collect pieces of evidence and they are being tested today. Where are we at in terms of DNA? Because 1999 and 2023 are very different. Yeah, so we're actually in the process of, uh, of doing that now. That is a uh, very time consuming process, but there have been a lot of different things sent off that we have. We're using the modern technology from today uh, that has greatly improved over the years uh, to retest some of those items uh, and test any items that haven't been tested for potential DNA evidence. And while Linda waits, she has one wish. I just want to know why. Why? She was such a good girl. I mean, she was a sweet, sweet person. I want to know before I die. Libby Farrow reporting. If you have any information regarding the murder of Sonia Wallace, call the Williamson County Sheriff's Office at 512-943-5204. You can also contact the Williamson County Crime Stoppers, which has a cash reward for information that leads to an arrest.